Hi guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2019 video. Today I'm just going to quickly show you guys something that you've seen in streams anyway, um, before in the time and on videos uh, back in the day and even relatively recently. This is of course Super Alb's Class 700. Now when I first released a video with this in 18 months ago, nearly two years ago probably, I had a ton of people going where can I get this can I have this is it there is it there is it there is it there and there's a long history of how this project came around with super albs and everything like that and the reason it didn't go any further was because basically everybody just hounded him and hounded him and hounded him and he just decided now I'm not going to bother and then it sat it sat unused and unloved <laughs> I'm not surprised really uh, for a long long time um, and I had asked Albie several times, can we release this? Can we release this in AI? I used to work in on it. And of course, Albie said, no, I'm not working on it anymore. It's, it, if I was going to start it, I'd maybe start a new one, da, 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 da. And I was sort of thinking in the back of my head, and a lot of you guys had even suggested this, even if it could just be released as AI, it would be a nice addition to have. And that sort of played in my mind for a long, long time. And I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And tried to get Albie to do it and he was having none of it basically um, but then uh, there was a few things in the group and uh, they came to an arrangement and uh, some of you will know what that arrangement is and some of you won't um, but it hasn't been without its issues it's caused a little bit of drama uh, but what I really like is the fact that you guys can now have this all of you people that wanted this as AI in a scenario you now have access to um, not only just have the 700 that you've seen, but also we've got it in a very basic uh, Southwestern Railway, SWT, whatever, um, 707 reskin as well. Uh, we've also got just the white fronted one, which is sort of angling as a, as a 717. It's, we're, we're not here to debate, and this isn't released as a finished product by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it is released because the vast majority of you guys asked for it to be. And the reason we say it's AI only is because it's only really good as AI. And even then, it, it, I mean, at times it's pushing the limits of is it good enough as AI even. Uh, but it does. You guys seem to like it. So I took that as actually it's probably worthwhile people having it. So, yeah, Albie offered the deal to me. We said yes and uh, sorted it out and we've got it. Now, things that are not perfect with it, uh, an awful lot. An awful lot. This isn't like uh, Super Owls has built a 700 and there you go. No, this was like a very, 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 an alpha work in progress train that the project got cancelled. But it was there and as I said, it was usable as AI. So this was never meant to be something better. Owie wasn't going to work in it, so we were never going to get a better version of it. This was, this was what we were going to get. There's, there's a few developers out there that I'm sure are already started on 700s and 717s and 707s and all that jazz. Uh, but this is just a stopgap. This isn't some sort of magic product. It is literally a stopgap measure while we're waiting on some of the bigger developers or another developer coming out, even a new developer coming out and creating a 700 for us. Does it work? Yeah. It moves as AI. Doors don't open. It's got no pantograph. Um, if you look through the cab window, you just see through the sides. I mean, this was really, really early stage work in progress. Um, does it do as AI? Just. 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 Um, Albi really wasn't happy about it being uh, released in this stage as anything else. And uh, still to this day will moan that it's even out, even though he has agreed to it. Um, because I suppose when you put your name on something, you want it to be decent, don't you? And I think what it actually has done is just given the community something to use, as I said earlier, as a stopgap. And that's basically it. And that's what it is. I mean, 700s I've massively fallen in love with uh, since they've been out. I'm a big, big fan of 700s. I'm not a big fan of the seating, uh, but I'm a very big fan of the quality of them, the sounds they make, the ride quality. Uh, I ride them quite often now because they're in and out of Cambridge all the time and I would much rather have a 700 than a 387 
for a, for a kick. I would rather have a three six five. Don't get me wrong. Or I'd rather take a three one seven down Liverpool Street. But I'm I'm of no. I'm not fussed about it being a uh, seven hundred at all. And they're very well built. Quite clever bits of kit. Um, things that have been updated since the time that you guys have seen it in videos is that it now has red tail lights and white headlights. Uh, a lot of the videos you'll have seen it had white and white. It's now white and red, and you've of course you've got the white fronted one as a 717 stand in, um, with the slight differentiation on the window. I thought that was a window differentiation, but it's not. It's the back. See again, if you get close to it, it is what it is. The one other thing that's really good is, of course, just that livery. Just having it in the red means that you can use it in your, your southern stuff as well. This isn't us just pumping out a load of crap. This was well requested. If it was up to me, I would have loved to have seen this project worked on more. I'd have loved to have seen this project be going further and me being able to release something to you guys that was absolutely brilliant and lovely and finished. But that wasn't going to happen. So it was either, it stays with us, and I think at one point, if you, if you go back to some of the videos where we first got this, it was the elite club that have the 700. Suck your words on board. I've been working hard to try and get it out to you. Um, <laughs> so it is what it is. It's AI. Um, I've already seen people driving it. Um, Nathan Smith of the... West Anglian, Great Northern and East Coast Mainline route has already uh, placed a 68 cab in it, of all things, which well, I can kind of see his logic in that. And he's driving it. I've seen people using it in all sorts. So I'm sure there'll be some modifications around soon enough that make this slightly drivable. Somebody might even add a little bit here or there to it. I'm sure they will. So it'll be a bit of a community project. If you guys want to do something like add the cabs to it or whatever, I can't stop you. It's not what I released it as, though. It isn't a finished product. It's an AI product. And in that stage, yeah, scrapes a barrel, but it's there. And let's be honest, Albie's not done a half-decent job on what he's done here. Um, considering this was a very... Uh, the embryonic stages of a project, a very alpha stage, it still, it still is semi-decent. I mean, if you were coming along the main and you saw that in the siding, you'd be quite happy with it. As you guys have said, when I'm in a station, it goes past us. You've been quite happy with it. Nobody's gone, oh, it hasn't got a pantograph. Oh, it, the doors don't open. Nobody mentioned that in the videos. People have found it out now they've got it. But, of course, this was never meant to have those features at all. Um, I'm just pleased to be able to have it out there. So all those merge scenarios, all those guys that were holding off for a 700 to be able to do things, could now just at least have something as a stand-in. Um, I mean, personally, I'd be really sad to see people... <laughs> it's like the 717 instead of the 313 because I love the 313 um, but having a mix of the, mix of the two w wouldn't be too bad at all uh, really and fingers crossed we get a, a, a new 700 soon so what do you actually get you get all the liveries that you see here um, it, it has a cab as standard if you own the 444 and 450 old school sound pack from AP um, d d does it move I, I don't know Yeah, it moves. Does it does it light up? I don't know. I've never driven it. Yeah. Does something. And that's it. Again, it's not about the cabs or anything like that. So yeah. There you kind of go. So to sum it all up. This has cost me blood, sweat and tears, um, and I, I mean tears, to get this, this, this out there. Um, use it. I want to see it in scenarios. I want you guys to be able to create scenarios for the East Coast Mainline South, for the mergers, for the Portsmouth Direct Line from Waterloo. I'd love to see it in there. I'd love to see it in those scenarios and make it all slightly worthwhile for us. So yeah, that's down to you guys and over to you. I hope you enjoy using it until we get a proper one. So thank you very much for watching the video. I'll catch you again next time. Heading over to Twitch on a Sunday night from 7pm and a Wednesday night from 7pm for a little bit more of a pub-themed attitude towards Train Sim. Uh, Train Sim Beer is what it's called. Uh, also head over to the Facebook group for a little bit of tech support and a little bit of help here and there. 
a little bit of a laugh as well. Some quite good stuff got on there the last couple of days. And also head over to alanthompsonsim.com uh, for this and for all of our latest releases and also all the user-generated releases. Uh, quick note on that, uh, paid. So you, the subscribe side's up for scenarios. Uh, so what that means is you will get paid per download per scenario um, or reskin or root. Um, all details are available on the website. Have a look at that. It means you freeware creators that want to do a little bit of uh, want a little bit of money in your back pocket for the first couple of months can put it out with us as a subscriber only content for the first three months, and you get your few quid, and then it goes out to freeware and stand, and everybody can have it. Okay, that's me done with this video. Once again, guys, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.